Good morning, everybody. I know we want to get on our ride, uh, so I just have two quick points to make. Um, number one, we're in this new urbanism. Um, you know, we have 40,000 parking lots downtown and in northeast Denver. And uh, I know I don't have to say it to this community, but some of those parking lots will be removed. Um, we are trying to get the city, uh, we're trying to get all of our residents to, to rely on multimodal transportation. And that's why I'm so excited about today, because this is one of the modes that I want to engage this community in. Uh, but here's the challenge. I just, I, I ran this morning through this whole neighborhood in Northeast Denver, and there's a large population that is disengaged around this mode of trans <laughs> transportation. And so the next big challenge for B-Cycle, for Bike Denver, for our biking community, is engaging the poorest of our residents in education around biking. Um, you know, I actually saw some folks riding a bike today in the, in the neighborhood all wrong on the sidewalk. <laughs> so we just, we just have to engage other communities around this. This, in, this isn't just a gentrified model to have a sustainable holistic model for the community so I'm very excited um, now I get to introduce the man the myth the legend uh, <laughs> um, you know I, I really think uh, Michael Hancock is, is is one of the and I always say this but I, I want to be clear about it one of the best mayors um, in the nation and I got a chance the last two weeks to meet three mayors um, on this little city tour that I did I can say he's one of the best and here's why when you understand this grassroots mentality all the way to the grass tops globally connected competitive city um, that's extraordinary transformative leadership and and uh, our, our mayor gets that so I want to introduce our mayor Michael Hancock. Thank you. Thank you. We were having an argument whether you wear black socks or white socks last night, yeah. so I guess he's the fastest. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's Albus Brook. Hey, listen, um, it, it, it takes um, a whole team to, to make a city great, and it starts with groups like this showing up today to be a part of a, a bike ride to Civic Center Park. So I want to thank you all for coming out. You look absolutely wonderful. I love the mix between the bikers and the bike gear and the people who are going to work after getting off the bike. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is a great day to celebrate, of course, riding your bike to work today, uh, work uh, day. And I want to say something about uh, what uh, Councilman Brooks was talking about, people riding their bikes in this neighborhood. For many of us who grew up around here, you know, it was the first, of course, mode of transportation for all of us. Um, and to begin to re, re, try to reposition or to re-energize folks beyond, back to the culture of riding bikes is extremely important. It starts today with all the photo shots people are going to have with all of us riding our bikes in downtown. And we want to continue to encourage people to get on their bikes and ride, number one, to be healthy to help us to achieve some of our goals under sustainability and Jerry Tiano is here, uh, whether it's air quality, addressing climate change, or mobility, this is a way that we can encourage everyone to participate. This hits every economic strata in our community and this is a huge opportunity for us. So smile when you go into Civic Center Park, act like you're glad to do what you're doing. <laughs> Let's encourage folks to get on bike from the very young to those of us who might even be close to retirement age or those beyond retirement because this helps us all stay healthy. So let's get on our bikes and let's have a good time. Do I have a bike and a helmet somewhere?